This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verses 1 to 6 and 10. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Wilderness and desert will sing joyously. The badlands will celebrate and flower, like the crocuses in spring, bursting into blossom. A symphony of song and color. Mountain glories of Lebanon, a gift. Awesome Kamel, stunning Sharon, gifts. God's resplendent glory, fully on display. God awesome, God majestic, energize the limbs hands, strengthen the rubbery knees, tell fearful souls. Courage, take heart, God is here, right here on his way to put things right and redress all wrongs. He is on his way, he will save you, blind eyes will be opened, deaf ears unstopped. Lame men and women will leap like deer. The voiceless break into song. Springs of water will burst out in the wilderness. Streams flowed in the desert. Hot sand will become a cool oasis. Thirsty ground, a splashing fountain. They will sing as they make their way home to Zion. And fading halos. Of joy encircling their heads, welcomed home with gifts of joy and gladness, as all sorrows and signs carry into the night. The word of the Lord. Reflections on the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter thirty-five, verses one to six and ten. It is Rejoice Sunday today. The liturgy invites us to a Christian spirit of joy, even though we may not feel lively, high-spirited, and full of the season's joys. The invitation expressed in the entrance antiphone encourages us to believe and hope in what is coming, rather than being disappointed or anxious about things happening within and around us today. It may be that the business does not go well, or you are dealing with an illness or struggles in the family, or perhaps your team lost in the World Cup game, or we lost a friend or a family member. In today's first reading, we hear a wonderful poem of hope. The whole chapter from which this reading is taken sings about a day in the future. when there will be joy in the people's faces because fearful and menacing threats have vanished the people of israel are surrounded by their enemies they have experienced exile and abandonment the prophet isaiah sings to them not just to cheer up but remember and then place their trust in the god who created them and has made his saving promises to them According to the World Watch list of 2022, the annual report of the Open Doors organization which documents the situation of the persecuted Christians around the world, over 4650 Christians were killed in Nigeria alone in the year 2021. Tens of thousands of Christians are persecuted and martyred around the world every year. even as enemies of faith surround them they renew their faith and hope where is god their senses ask their minds about promises made but their faith must have answered their doubts lord is near to the broken hearted the people of israel have asked this question often in their history and so too have we as we walk through losses and darkness Belief or faith is a gift to assist us in living with our emotions. In today's gospel, John the Baptist is in prison 
for trusting in the coming of the Messiah. He has his doubts too. Are you the one or do we have to wait for someone else? The Israelites had asked similar question, where is God? Certainly not out of frustration but trusting that help is near. Mm-hmm.